Hello my soccer universe. Well, my hunch was right and I knew that Spain is better than or are better than my favorite Italians and so alas Italia another defeat but this time at least not in a final because if you haven't heard I mean uh, Italy was also not only all three Italian clubs lost their respective finals but they also lost the under 20 World Cup final and so yeah at least it's not a final defeat but I always had the feeling that Spain are a little bit further ahead in their development than Italy. Italy is still trying to a little bit find themselves after winning the Euros not making the World Cup you know all those, these kind of things. Spain is also in a rebuilding but I think uh, the idea for Spain is a little bit more there. I have to say um, Although the game got a little bit more, I don't want to say dull, but you know, a little bit more settled towards the second half and the first half. It was a really frantic game with high presses left and right, uh, no long and extended possessions. Maybe not quality-wise uh, the greatest game, but boy was it fun to watch because there were quite some chances there and already in the third minute... Uh, <laughs> Bonucci loses the ball to Pino uh, in really amateurish fashion, I gotta say, and Pino just goes through and makes it 1 0. However, Italy were not denied, ha uh, created chances themselves, uh, got them a penalty. I think it was a San Saniolo shot that went on the hand. Immobile steps up. It's 1 1 after 11 minutes, and then Italy thought 10 minutes later they had, to, uh, they had a go ahead goal, but Fratesi just with the shoulder offside. Uh, was a really nicely played goal and I think with that one Italy probably would have seen it through um, but it was not to be the game I think settled a little bit more but at the first 20-25 minutes were really frantic between those two it was fun but then it kind of went a little bit uh, so and so now uh, we of course had Italy playing in the 125 year anniversary jerseys where I get the idea with the white and the gold and the black socks, uh, you want to kind of commemorate uh, the first uniform that you were wearing. I just find those jerseys boring and I know I haven't made a jersey review, but I also, I really don't like the new crest. That is a video in itself, how the identity crisis that the Italian Football Federation has with their logos uh, everywhere. Uh, honestly, I didn't see a need to make this one. I, I especially don't like the rounded part. It looks better as a shield, like a proper Scudetto. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of... Uh, and then um, my other thing is they're selling it away as a special package in very limited quantities. It's not a special jersey. I mean, white and gold. It looks all right-ish, but it's in the end, it's a white jersey with a golden emblem uh, with a not so great crest with golden stripes can get this for you have you could have gotten this as a Real Madrid jersey a long 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 time ago so that, that was also my few cents on it as I said let's go back to the game the second half um, Spain had a lot more control uh, then and I think with uh, with um, Asensio already coming on uh, and then uh, Canales uh, a lot more control was given especially uh, taking Rodrigo off and putting Asensio on that was uh, that kind of showed yeah we wanna be more on the offensive and Italy created way less chances and I think Morata should have scored at least one of those that he had then he ends up not scoring and the game was kind of fizzling out at half have said at that point I was just hanging on because I had a really uh, let's say intense day uh, I, I I was tired I was really hoping this is not going to over, over overtime. Um, and I was so close of turn, turning off because I was just not there anymore and the game did not give me the excitement. Let's put it, put it that way. It seemed to be heading for overtime. However, uh, from a seat, from, from, from an attack, the ball falls to a road. It takes a double deflection that Jose Lu, who had just come, come on a few minutes earlier, ahead of Donnarumma, taps in out of the air. And he's not offside because um, clearly Acerbi could not step out on time. And it's 2 1 Spain, and while it's not the result that I wanted to see, uh, you know, Italy, Italy, Italy over everyone, I think the two better, by the two better teams in each semi final went through and deservedly so. And I think Spain against Croatia is a proper final, I gotta say. Uh, one that I'm very much looking forward to, I am looking forward to. I think both Nations League semi finals overall delivered. Uh, the first one was maybe a tad better. 
Uh, but it has the inverse build of, uh, the, you know, it started out slow and then it got better and better and better the, the long it went, whereas this one started out really frantic and kind of, kind of got worse and worse and worse as the, the longer the game went. Um, but yeah, if we have a Spain Croatia final, a uh, new Nations League winner for sure. I mean, neither of, neither of the nations in there have won the Nations League, so we had that uh, all along. I'm curious how to see this one. Uh, I have made some rough competition, but I didn't have time to prepare the graphic. But at this moment, I have Croatia as a 54% favorite over Spain, which kind of feels right. I feel that this Croatia team is way more settled than the Spanish team is. So yeah, uh, slight favorites, slight favorites, uh, Croatia. Uh, but let's see. I actually, uh, at this point in time, uh, while I don't think uh, Spain would be an unworthy champion, far from far from it. Um, also, I have to acknowledge that, for instance, uh, Pedri is not playing for the Spanish team uh, this time, that time around. However, I really would like to see this Croatia generation uh, win a title. And so I guess I'm leaning a little bit more in the Final Four, Croatia. Um, and while it may have not been working out, I'm actually looking also forward to the Jersey matchup. I can really see that Croatia will play in their checkered, more predominant white home jersey against Spain in their regular uh, kit, which I think should work just fine. Any case, let me know your thoughts on this second Nation League semifinals and how, who do you have in the final. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.